UNFPA advocates for strong legal frameworks and the protective measures we need to ensure that women leaders can be safe, that that safety extends into their participation into the political and the public sphere. And that should be true online and in real life. She points to the prevalence of digital violence aimed at harming and silencing women, saying such behavior underscores the importance of safeguarding the universal right to technology by women without fear or intimidation. And that is why UNFPA's hashtag body right campaign calls upon policymakers, tech companies, and social media platforms to take action when online bullying occurs, when misogyny populates social media spaces. So action to make sure that sphere is safe. Now, the counter side is that we know that technology can and should be a force for the good. There are new digital tools that have made sexual and reproductive health care and knowledge about individual rights much more readily available. In East and Southern Africa, for example, UNFPA uses artificial intelligence to collect real-time data, and that's improving interventions and engaging communities. We would need to address disparities in access, of course. Not everybody has a computer at hand. Not everybody has a smartphone. But we can close that digital gender divide, especially in Africa and especially in the poorest communities where so much talent resides and where that need is most acute.